Math modifiers are a great way of getting complex animation into a scene really quickly. Here I have this scene and I want to make this ball in the middle bounce. So what I'm going to do is add some math modifiers. The first thing I want to do is make the shape bounce. And to do this, I want to add the math modifier to the shape property position Y. To connect the math modifier to the shape, a quick way of doing it is to open up the shape by double clicking on it. And there's the position Y parameter. And I'm just going to attach the math modifier directly to the position Y parameter. I can make the bounce more realistic by selecting use absolute value. And I'm going to slow the bounce down a bit so it looks more realistic. So I'm going to put that on about 0.5. Now I want the ball to move left to right. So I'll add another math modifier, attach it to the Z position and it's going left and right. I want to increase the amount it's going left and right. And I want to reduce the speed right down, something like that. So now it's going left and right and up and down. Now I want to make it rotate. So I'm going to take the same math modifier because it's got the same speed here. I'm going to copy that and paste it. And then I'm going to connect that to the rotation pitch. So it's not moving because it needs quite a bit more blend amount on it. And I ramp that up to 500. Now we've got a bouncing ball in a scene, really simply using the math modifiers.